reaction is happiness. And uh, it is something which uh, every one of us were dreaming for years to come. Yes. Now, as you know that this is achieved by uh, only three nations in the world, uh, China, Russia, and USA. So we are the fourth nation in line. Now, this is a pre-requirement for the future missions of ISRO, Chandrayaan-4 particularly, and Gaganyan, which, uh, which is uh, being planned for the year 2028 or so. And future missions, uh, in every mission you will have a docking. So this docking, we have to perfect it, and we have to, we have to be a master of the technology. It appears that we have now become the master of the technology because we tried on the 7th and the 9th, and we didn't do it in a hurried manner. We were waiting for a good opportunity. In the sense, we were understanding and analyzing the whole thing, ground realities. So it has come out well. I don't have the details, but I understand that it is docked successfully. Which means after docking, there will be, they will be passing the electrical power from the chaser to the uh, target and vice versa. Now these are two satellites. Now these two satellites can be clubbed together now, right now, and they can be separated. So they can work as two satellites or they can work as a single satellite. I think one satellite has a power problem. It can't, it is not going to last long. So the power will come from the other satellite. So docking is going to be wonderful. It's a nice piece and I'm very happy about it. That's it. So I suppose yes, focus into Chandraya, the man mission. So man mission. So yeah. how would you decide this? Yeah, man mission is in the year two thousand forty. I think uh, it's a long time to come. It's another twenty years approximately. But for Chandrayaan four, yes, that is planned recent I mean, next year. But then Gaganyan is planned for 2028. In both the missions, it will be helpful. Because without a docking, you can't survive. You, you can't really work on outer space missions. So in Chandrayaan 4, there will be a transfer module which brings the moon samples and then transfer the same thing to the re-entry module, which is designed to withstand the high temperatures due to while, while coming back to the earth. Very interesting uh, proposal. So this is a basic demonstration which is required. Now I, I hope this is uh, perfectly done. As usual, ISRO does things very carefully, extremely carefully, and uh, so we have done it carefully. So it's a success. Thank you, sir. Thank you.